Hi everyone, it's me Gaming Do, and it is that time of the month again as we get into part 16 of 20 questions. Just like January and February, I am filming this video actually at the end of March and instead of the first day of April because I just like to get these videos out of the way in filming. I still love doing these videos, it's just videos I like to get done because they're some of the longest to make honestly, but... That's not the point. The point is, let's figure out these 20 questions, shall we? Let's get into it. Number one, why is Lenny no longer your favorite Louch sibling? Well, that has to do with a very special episode called Don't You Forget About Me. Don't You Forget About Me has to be one of the most character-ruining episodes in television history. Not just the Loud House or cartoons, television history. Because it shows a whole other side to Lenny that you I really didn't want to see, but I can't think the same of her character anymore. Do I still love Lenny Loud? Yes. I still think she's a very good character. But I can't say I think the same of her anymore because she shows that she tries to sabotage. She's willing to sabotage people for her own selfish wants. Lori is going to a great university, but Lenny tries to destroy those plans by disguising herself as Lori and fucking everything up. And... Upon first watch, I sort of just brushed it off, but re-watching some of season four? No, 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 no. I can't excuse it. That was terrible. You'll see where she is on my list, but she is no longer my favorite. I'll give you a hint, she is still on the top half of my list, as a matter of a fact... She's still at a very high place on my... Bleh. She is still at a very high place on my list, but she is no longer my favorite loud sibling because she shows that she's willing to sabotage people, which is not good. Number two, are you excited for Easter? Yes, I am excited for Easter. Maybe not as much as when I was a kid because, um, I don't know. I don't really go on Easter egg hunts anymore. I usually color and dye Easter eggs and stuff like that when I go to my grandmother's, but... And then I get a bunch of candy and Starburst, Starburst jelly beans are to die for, in my opinion. I could, uh, just like Yogos, I could freaking inject that stuff into my veins. But... I don't know. I get chocolate and stuff like that, and, um, I don't know. I like Easter, but Easter is a holiday that, unlike Christmas, which I still have the holiday spirit and stuff like that, I don't know. I'm just not as excited for Easter as, say, Christmas or even Halloween, but I still like Easter. I like Easter mainly because it's the sign that spring is truly freaking here. Don't think I don't like Easter. I do. It's just, I don't know. Not my favorite holiday. Number three, how long will the final movie be? I know I said in my last update I don't really have any sort of idea, but I will give an estimate probably over an hour and at the longest length, not much longer than GD Plus the movie part four. I don't think it's going to be three hours or anything like I was originally planning. At the longest length for the movie... My guess is going to be 2 hours and 10 minutes. That is at the longest and shortest. I'm going to say it's probably going to be 90 minutes. 
So, the estimated runtime for the film is going to be between 90 and 130 minutes. I think. I'm not sure, but that is my estimated range for how long the final movie is going to be. We'll see, though. Number four, are you a coffee drinker? Well, yes, I am. I love coffee. It's actually a very good drink. But I don't live on it like some people. Some people can't even function in society if they don't have coffee. And... It's not like that's never happened to me, and probably soon I'm going to really need a lot of coffee, but for now, I, it's not something that I like need to help me function in life, but it's a good drink that I enjoy drinking multiple times a week, but I don't drink coffee every single day like a lot of people do. So, I am a coffee drinker, just not as much as some people. Oh, I'm tired. Um, number five, what's your favorite major city? This one is a really, really hard question. Because there's a lot of cities that have absolutely great aspects to them. And then there's certain cities that are just Or certain aspects of city that are just... Yeah. So, if I had to pick one... I would probably go with New York City. You know what? New York City gets a bad reputation sometimes because... Honestly, I just think it's because it's the biggest city in the world and people are just trying to say, Oh, it's overrated. It's overrated. There's... Crime and poverty and stuff like that there. Well, you're going to see some stuff that you don't usually see in, like, rural areas that you see in major cities. So kind of expect that. And unless you're getting robbed at gunpoint, it's kind of stuff you can just ignore, pretty much. Um... As for other major cities, I like Toronto, I like parts of Chicago, I like Cleveland. Cleveland, I think, is one of the more underrated cities in this country. Um, I like Denver, I like some aspects of San Francisco, but... To me, I think New York reigns supreme, probably followed closely by Toronto. And the only reason why I put New York over Toronto is because there's just a lot more to do in New York City. You could do anything in New York City, pretty much. Pretty much there's unlimited things to do in New York City, and that's... A great thing. And even some of the bad, disgusting aspects they talk about, like the subways and the huge rats, are its character of the city, and it's not that bad. So, New York City is just... It's a great city. I love it. I know some people shit on it, but... Maybe it's because I live in the New York City metro area, and I live about an hour away from the city, but... I don't know. I like it probably more than most people do. Second would be Toronto. I think Toronto is a great city in Canada. And third would probably be... Oh, I don't know. I'd probably have to go with... Denver or the good parts of Chicago? I don't know, but that's my favorite major city is New York. Number six, with Loud House videos back, what are your plans? My plans mainly is to do less reviews and more like top tens and rankings of Loud House stuff. As I did with my season ranking, I'm planning on doing a re-ranking of the Loud Siblings. 
after that, my next Loud House video is going to be top 10 favorite Loud House side characters. Or a review. I do have a review planned. And I just talked about the episode that I'm I'm going to review. It's, uh, don't you forget about me. But, um, anyways, um, I do plan on doing mainly top tens and rankings for the show. As I just enjoy that stuff more than the reviews. Because the reviews, in my opinion, are just kind of tedious to make. I don't really get to talk about stuff that hasn't been said before. While with rankings and uh, top tens and stuff like that, I get to put my own twist on things, pretty much, if you know what I mean. So, with Loud House content, it's going to be more top tens and rankings. Not to say we're not getting any more reviews. After the siblings ranking, we are actually going to be getting... Uh, an episode review, and don't you forget about me very soon after, but I don't exactly think we're going to be scaling down on reviews and doing more other Loud House topics. Number seven, are you happy spring is here? Yes, yes, I am still traumatized. And I have PTSD from the last winter. And my freaking parts of my family are like, oh, this winter wasn't that bad. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we had the snowiest winter in like five years here. It's not the worst winter I've ever seen. But while we got one, like one blizzard... That was absolutely gargantuan the winter before this winter. That was really the only amount of snow we got, period, that I needed to shovel. Other than that, it was just pretty chilly some days. But it was a very dry winter. This winter was not only colder than the last winter, but we got a lot more snow. January was not nice with the snow. February was kind of tame with the snow, but still, we got at least three or four days where we got a significant amount of snow. And then in March, we got a day where we got like four or five inches of snow. Thank God we are only a mere days from April. Where, oh god, that doesn't mean we're never getting snow again. Because snow can happen where I live in April. It absolutely can, but I'm pretty sure the majority of the dog shit, 5 to like 5,000 inches of snow, is just completely gone. Thank god. I hate snow more than anything, but I'm glad, I'm glad that spring is here because, um, it's going to be sunny if it doesn't rain and, uh, the flowers are here, but allergies are here too. So yes, I'm excited for spring, but rain and allergies are the only two reasons why I'm really looking forward to summer, but spring is a sign that better weather is here to come. And we're out of the days where things are extremely cold and snowy. We actually just got hail today, which is weird. But, um, yeah, I am excited spring is here. Number eight, are you still going to college? Not at the current moment, but... I'm thinking later down the line in a year or two I am going to be going back to college. I just need to figure out what I want to do in college first of all. And second of all, I want to figure out uh, where I'm going to go to college. 
I don't know if I'm going to university or my local community college, but I'm probably going to start again at my local community college, then go to university, but I don't know. To me, you don't really need college. Like, you can go to college and I'll majority of kids from my school went and I tried it but it didn't work out for me at the immediate time but I'm planning on probably going back one day but it's my opinion it's not something you absolutely need especially because there are some jobs that can give you a decent pay without even going to college am I saying college is useless no But, in my opinion, you don't 100% need it. If you want to go, great, go. But, in my opinion, it's not like there's so many people that'll shove down your throat. Oh, go to college, go to college, go to college. You don't have to put it that way. Like, the worst thing that's going to happen to you if you don't go to college is you're not going to be a doctor. Not a lot of people are doctors, honestly. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Number nine. What do you personally think is your worst trait? My worst trait about me is that I tend to get very anxiety-driven sometimes. Like, I get very worried about stuff, and I get so nervous at times that I downright shake and I go very quiet it could be by myself or in front of my entire family and stuff like that sometimes I just get anxiety driven about certain stuff such as um I don't know good example is when certain people argue I really don't like confrontation whether it involves me or not and um sometimes that makes me very very nervous and I get very anxiety driven like something worse is gonna happen than this so I start shaking and stuff like that and then there's some things about that my life that make me anxiety driven too And it's the worst aspect of my life, personally, and it's not fun to have anxiety. I'll tell you that. It's probably not as bad as some people have it, but I can have some pretty bad anxiety sometimes. Number 10, why do you stay out of politics? I kind of answered it in my worst personality trait. It's all about arguments. People freaking argue to hell and back about politics. And it's all dramatic. And oh, if you don't agree with my view, you suck and stuff like that. Why can't we just put politics aside and be adults and start liking each other? Why don't, if we do not like each other anymore, why not... Why do we have to make it about politics? Why are politics the things that ruin relationships? It should be about backstabs or betrayals or something like that. Not politics. That's freaking ridiculous. Like, do I have some political views? Yes. But not enough to really care. I am not a political person. I have my views, but I... If you were to ask me... This might be embarrassing, but... I don't even know all the branches of government. That's how much I don't care about politics. I just don't care, because it's about arguments and it's hated and people hate each other with politics and stuff like that and i'm sorry to say it but it's true i am not a political person because it's all about arguing and drama and i i don't want to get into that i hate drama and i hate confrontation it's one of my it is my least favorite thing 
And politics is pretty much all about that. Number 11, how tall are you? I have at, I've put this question in twice before, but um, it has changed again. At the current moment, I am six foot and a half, or six foot zero, half an inch, if you want to put it like that. So I am over six foot at this point. I don't think I'm going to grow much more than that, and to me, that is completely fine. And I'm going to spend the least amount of time on this question since I've already answered it, but yeah, I've grown to be about 6'1 now. Number 12, do you like any modern music? Yes, but not much. I actually have a soft spot for Post Malone. I think his music is actually pretty good. Imagine Dragons are good. Really? Outside of that? I don't really know. I'm just not a fan of music that's like post-2013. Even at that point, there's still songs I can remember from that point. I don't think there's a single song from 2022 that I've listened to yet. Because I just don't care about modern music. Modern music doesn't appeal to me. and I, I get why it's popular, but at the same time... It's just not for me. So I don't really listen to a lot of modern music. No. But I like some like Post Malone and Imagine Dragons. and People like Imagine Dragons. But really, I don't listen to a lot of modern music. Number 13. What's your favorite film from 2022 so far? The Batman. I've answered this one before, so I'm also going to keep this one short. Robert Pattinson, great performance. Phenomenal villain in The Riddler. Um, Everyone else gave great performances. Great action. Um, Best scene in the movie is the Batmobile chase. And it's another great directed film from Matt Reeves. Number 14, what's your religion? I'm also going to be kind of quick on this one, but I will reveal it. Um, I am a Catholic. I do have a belief in God. Um, I respect whatever people's religions are. I'm not going to go crazy on you no matter what, but I personally do have a belief in God, and um, I was raised Catholic, and I choose to stay that way because I do believe in higher power. Not going to go much further into that, but that is my opinion. And it's, well, it's the way I was raised, and I agree with it. So, yeah. Number 15, have you ever been to a concert? No, I have not, but I plan to change that soon. And the big reason why is because I'd love to go to a rock concert like Metallica or Aerosmith or something like that. That would be amazing. I'd love to go see one of those bands in concert. And um, while I don't play my guitar as much as I used to, I am planning on playing it a little bit more soon. And... I'd just love to go see a rock band in concert, but no, I haven't been to a concert in my life yet. And that's mainly because, I don't know if I've ever revealed this before, I'm sure I have somewhere on my channel, but... I have autism, okay? I have Asperger's Syndrome, and... I can have sensitivity to really loud noises. It's getting a little bit better. Like, I can tolerate louder noises much better than I used to. But the main thing I hated was fire drills. And the main reason why was not even that it was loud. It was the element of surprise. 
I hated that. Oh, it was random. It was random. It was going to come on in a random moment. And it scares the living freaking shit out of you. And I know. I know it's to be... I know it's to get out of a building in case it's on fire and stuff like that. And fire drills are an absolutely great thing. You should always have them. I think work businesses should have fire drills, honestly. At least once a year or something like that. Maybe as often as we have them was a little too much. Like, I don't know if you necessarily need to have one once a month, but... I would at least have one once a year at school, but I don't know if quite once a month is, might be a little too much. But anywho, enough about fire drills. Let's talk about, um, concerts. I've never been to one, but I'd love to go to a rock concert and I think it would be amazing. Number 16, what is your favorite period of your life so far? I should have put time period because that kind of sounds a little bit wrong, but uh, I'm talking about my favorite time period of my life. That would be from mid-2017 to mid-2019. That point in my life was just freaking amazing. To 2017 through 2019 has to be some of the best years of my entire life. Barely any freaking drama. I did a bunch of fun stuff. It was just... School, as much as I shit on it at the point, was actually pretty freaking good at that point. And... It was... It was a fun time. It was a better time than it is now, because... Honestly, I'm freaking bored out of my mind now, and... A lot more anxiety driven than I was in high school. So, uh, I gotta say probably high school. I know a lot of people shit on school and stuff like that. But if I could go back to high school, I would. It was a simpler time. And not to say that my life is terrible right now or anything. But it could use a lot of improving. And I hope it does very soon. But... The best period of my life was mid-2017 to mid-2019. Number 17. Norm of the North or the Emoji Movie. Oh god, that's like picking between diarrhea and throw up. Do you- do I- do I have to pick this? Do I have to talk about these two freaking satanic movies again? Alright, I will. And you know what? I might for fun do a re-review of these movies. God, please help me. Anywho, um, if I had to pick which movie is better, it honestly depends. In quality, I think Norm of the North is way worse. The animation is complete dog shit in that. But Norm of the North has ever so slightly better entertainment value well i just think the emoji movie is like the most effortless movie i have ever seen that's just complete and utter dog shit with terrible characters and stuff like that so because i think the emoji movie infuriates me a little more and i can have a grain of sand Full of so bad it's good fun with Norm of the North. I am going to say ever so slightly Norm of the North is the better movie. Because at least I can have a teensy weensy bit of so bad it's good fun with that film. I cannot have that with the Emoji movie. But I'll say this. They're both better than Food Fight, which is currently my least favorite movie of all time. I want to change that one day so I can give you a really entertaining review, but I just haven't found the film, and I refuse to watch that animated film where the dead go to die. That film just goes against my morals, kind of, and it just seems so distasteful and disgusting that I refuse to watch it. 
But I think that would dethrone Food Fight. So, I would say Norm of the North is still a 0 out of 10 movie. But it has a couple of so bad it's good moments in it. Number 18, do you go fishing? Yes, I do go fishing. Do I go fishing often? Not really. Um, I mainly go with my grandfather, and it's my favorite activity me and my grandfather do together. And I love it. And I love the art of just catching fish and using specific hooks to catch bass and trout and pickerels and walleyes and stuff like that. I still to this day have never caught a walleye, but I've caught pickerels, trout, and bass before. But I still have never caught a walleye, so that's my major goal for this year for fishing is to catch a walleye. I'd also like to catch a catfish too because I never caught one, but I've caught bass, pickerel, and trout before and sunfish too. But fishing is fun and it's honestly one of my favorite activities. It's probably a secret activity that don't, most people don't know about me. But I adore to go fishing. It's one of my favorite activities and I love it. It's just, especially during the summer, it's just, you get a little more of a cool breeze on the lake and you just get to reel in some bass and trout and stuff like that. It's such a relaxing and fun activity that's, I love going fishing. I love it. Number 19, are you thinking of quitting YouTube soon? Well... I'll reveal it more and go more into detail in the April 2022 update video, but the answer is relatively soon. And like I said in the last update video, I'm not probably never going to quit downright permanently rather than starting probably next year or the year after. I will no longer be doing YouTube regularly. And honestly, that could change, but I'm kind of running out of ideas for what to do with my channel. I don't really know what to do. If I can find something that I really enjoy doing, then yes, I will continue YouTube till the day I die. But it's not really about growing up. It's about... The fact that I've kind of run out of ideas. I kind of ran out of ideas in 2020. But this year really I'm kind of running out of ideas. And even 20 questions I'm starting to run out of ideas admittedly. But you definitely got the rest of this year for me. And I will probably do some videos in 2023. But. I might not be doing YouTube regularly anymore. Okay, so the reason why this took so long to get out is because of the question 20, which I had to figure out how to answer this. And the best way I'm going to answer this is I'm going to tell you what happened while not being too descriptive or giving any names, this is going to be completely private to his name and stuff like that. I'm not going to be descriptive or anything. Maybe eventually I'll get a little more descriptive. But I'm going to tell you the basic gist and the basic reason why uh, number 20, what happened to you in August 2021. August 2021 was kind of the start of the new era of my life because something really bad happened and while the months since have been better I don't think it's been the same since like I'd argue before August but especially after August um me and my best friend of four years at that point stopped being friends. It was over something so freaking stupid on my end and I regret ever doing it and starting this thing in the first place. 
Now, don't get me wrong, it's not offensively bad or anything, but it's something stupid that kind of ended our friendship, and if I could take it back and we could still be friends, that would be great, and I'd love that to just pretend that it never happened, but it is what it is. And, um, I said I'm not going to get too descriptive at all, um... I did see that he posted something on his DeviantArt a couple months ago, and um, he did say some kind of harsh things about me, and um, I was maybe a little bit hurt, but I wasn't like super offended because it was kind of true, but um, it's not anything really bad or anything, don't get me wrong, it's not anything like really offensively bad or anything, but it's mainly stupid what happened, it was stupid, and I regret ever doing this, um, thing that happened, it's nothing bad, nothing really bad, nothing to do with, like, drugs or crime or anything, of course not, I never get into that stuff, but... Um, it was something really stupid that happened, and I regret it, and, yeah. I might reveal what it is later, but for now, I'm gonna keep that private, because, I don't know, I just feel like now is not the time to explain the full story. I'm always gonna keep the name and stuff like that private, but for now... I'm just going to tell you what happened. And it's a damn shame. Because we had a good friendship. And it fucked up over something so stupid. And I regret it. And that's about all I'm going to get into today. So I hope you like this video, guys. Next 20 questions should be a lot less dramatic. And should just be fun questions. Which, like, 95% of these questions were. But... The full 20 questions for part 17 should be pretty enjoyable. So I hope you guys like this. Sorry if it got a little dramatic at the end, but I wanted to get this out to tell you just in case you were maybe concerned about what happened and you were curious about what happened in August 2021. But the answer is I ended a long time friendship with a good friend and it, it hurt a lot. So I hope you guys like this video. Um... Gaming do here. See you later. Bye.